Hey Virgo, I hope you're all doing really well. So this is going to be your general love reading for mid-June 2022. And it is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Virgo. And it is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. And that is okay. If you would like a personal reading, you can find all that information in the description box. And the roles in this reading can be reversed because the reading is general. All right, Virgo, what is going on with you and another person? Second half of June, 2022, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Let's see. First card out, we have the Eight of Swords crossed by the Wheel of Fortune. Ooh, okay. So somebody is really in their headspace here, um, maybe feeling stuck feeling like there's no way out, um, possibly some fear and feeling like, you know, that this might not be able to change. And I actually feel like whoever this is does have that ability to change things. Um, but it's kind of just leaving it kind of like, you know, this is just my fate. This is my destiny. I'm just stuck. Let's see. For you, we have the Ace of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and the Devil. All right, so Capricorn energy here in your in your energy. Um, okay, Virgo. There's definitely a lot of love here that you have for a particular person. Um, I feel like there's a lot of confusion you possibly might not know what's what's really going on or you know you might just be coming up with certain scenarios in your head about what's going on and i feel like that's what that eight of swords might be about um i mean it, this could be the other person here with the eight of swords but seeing your energy it wouldn't surprise me if this is you just feeling like you know this is what it is but i don't know like how accurately you're actually understanding or seeing the situation let's see for them we have the three of cups the knight of wands and the three of pentacles hmm. so it's interesting because i do see this person wanting to connect with you or or um wanting to reconnect depending However, I do also see that, you know, at the moment, they appear to be a little bit flighty, possibly inconsistent, um, maybe even giving you mixed signals. Let's, let's see the potential outcome. <laughs> we really want to clarify this reading. All right, potential outcome, we have the Six of Cups. Okay, so it definitely feels like there is a coming together here, all right, um, with this person. So let's see. Let's clarify, get some details here. Let's see that Eight of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune. The Nine of Swords, the Two of Cups, and the Nine of Cups. Yeah, it's like, if this is you, and again, it doesn't have to be, it could be the other person. But there's there's a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress over this. Even though it feels like this person is kind of just, you know, throwing their hands up in the air, like surrendering, like, you know what, this is it, this is just my fate, this is just my destiny. But they're not at peace with that. Again, I do feel like this might be you. Um, they're not at peace with that because there is love here. Or if it's not love, you know, depending on your situation, there are feelings here. There is this desire and this wish for this connection to come to fruition. Let's see the Ace of Cups for you. And we have the Two of Pentacles and the Four of Swords. Yeah, it almost feels like you don't know what to do um, about recovering from this or just getting it out of your mind or just, you know, um, getting over it. 
it, it's feeling like it's, it's a bit of a challenge for you. And it's feeling very difficult to have these emotions for somebody. Um, and then just feeling trapped. Feeling trapped in these emotions. Or just feeling trapped in the situation. Let's see the Seven of Cups. The Queen of Swords and the Emperor. Okay, yeah, so there's definitely something here that you're not seeing very clearly. And I'm not I'm not sure yet if this has to do with the other person or, or concerning your own self. I feel like it has to do with the other person. Um, and we'll see more. We'll, we'll see more when we get to their energy. But I feel like there's definitely something here that you're you're not able to see clearly you're not able to discern and because of that it's like throwing you into this spiral of possibly overthinking or um we'll see now let's see the devil you know just stressing so for the devil we have the death card okay so scorpio and the Knight of Cups. So you're feeling like this connection is done or that something something happened here, okay, for some of you. I feel like maybe something happened. Um, maybe you maybe you did something, maybe you said something, or maybe the other person did something that has got you overthinking about what is actually going on or about what the other person is actually feeling and it's like having this sense that you know what now it's just now this is just done um but not being happy about that feeling like you know whatever it is that happened well this person is not going to pursue me anymore and i feel like there's like this attachment to this negative thinking um, and really you know it is in your in your control to snap out of that and you know sometimes yeah we can't we can't always know what's going on but that doesn't mean that we should just jump to conclusions or make assumptions because like I said whatever it is that you're thinking here um, some kind of an assumption. I feel like it, it's not accurate. So let's see. Let's see what's going on with this person. Let's see the Three of Cups. The Six of Swords and the Three of Wands. Yeah, it's like, you know, this person would want to come together but yeah it does feel like they're not taking action towards that if anything i do see them actually keeping their distance um i feel like they feel like there's some kind of uh some kind of a conflict that would that would occur if they were if they were to approach you or if they were to um you know either reconnect or connect with you and it feels like they're holding out like they're still they are holding that potential or that possibility in their minds um but they're not acting on it let's see let's see the knight of wands the two of wands and the queen of pentacles Yeah, there's some stalling on their end. There's a little bit of stalling here. However, it's interesting though because they do see you as this person who is, you know, either very nurturing um, or they just have a lot of respect for you. So it's not it's not being revealed what it is exactly that you're not seeing accurately because it could be different for everybody. Um, but yeah, this person. It's really weird because it's like they have this urge. They want to reconnect, right? They want to take this action here, but there's this there's this stalling. For some of them, it could be that there's a third party. 
And of course, you know, if that's the case, and <laughs> if that's one of your assumptions, you know, yeah, that might not be the one that we're referring to that is not accurate, okay? This is, definitely is a possibility for some of you that there is a third party, but there might be something about this that's not accurate. And I'm not saying that you should be waiting for this person. I'm not saying that you should pursue this person just because you have a, you know, a, a, a mistaken assumption about them. But sometimes it's helpful to just know that we don't really know exactly what is going on. But of course, if we're not being treated with respect or if we're not being treated fairly, then yes, you know, we should not hang around for that. But we, it, it doesn't mean that we should also hold false assumptions as to what, is, what else might be going on for this person. Because then that, I feel like you're using, you know, whatever false assumption here, you're using that and it's affecting you in a very negative way. It's almost like it's like, what does that say about you? You know, like, what does that tell you about how you feel about yourself or how you think about yourself? Or, you know, why does it matter, this assumption that you have? There's something about that assumption that is uh, affecting you negatively. And that's what's important. Not, I'm not saying that, you know, <laughs> that this person is, you know, worthy of your of your energy right now. I'm not saying that they're not either. Okay. It's just a, a completely different point that I'm trying to make. So let's see the three of pentacles for the other person here. The five of swords and the five of cups. Oh, and I feel like these actually these two together, they came out um, I can't remember which sign it was for, but it definitely wasn't an earth sign. It was a different sign, a different deck even. But these two came out as clarifiers in another reading. So very, very interesting. Um, it almost feels like this person is moving towards, you know, um, okay. keeping some kind of a connection with you, maybe even just as friends, maybe as, you know, work related, kind of keeping things on a more like platonic level, but it's like they're doing that regretfully. And it's also, that's not what they really feel. Cause like I said, it's like they long for this reconnection. Um, something else is definitely going on here um, for each of them. Again, it's going to be different. Each of you are dealing with even a different zodiac sign. You know, it cannot be the same for every single person, for every single, you know, Virgo watching this, even if you're a cross watcher. It just cannot be the same. Um, but the overall, and that's why we can't get specific in a, in a general reading. But overall, yeah, this person is going against what they would want and regretfully just keeping things a little bit more practical, a little bit more on a platonic level. But let's see that Six of Cups. That Six of Cups is very interesting to me. Let's see, the King of Swords, the Ace of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. There's something about this connection here. There's something about this connection where it's like the two of you are just like, there's this longing, and I do see you in one way or another, even if it's just energetically, although I do feel like it's on a physical level, like coming together. I do see that. Um, and even though there's this King of Swords here, you know, showing a lot of determinism, then we have this Page of Pentacles where I feel like it's just taking small steps. But it's like there's determinism even for that, those small steps. Um, yeah, I feel like, you know, it's, it's important to find out if you do reconnect with this person, if you're not in communication, and if this reading does resonate with you. I feel like it's important to clear up that assumption or, you know, whatever it is that you're thinking about this person. Um, that may not be true because I feel like you would have a suspicion of what that might be if this resonates with you. Um, you would have a feeling that maybe, you know, there's something here that you have that you're not seeing clearly. Whatever that is, I, I feel like, you know, this is something, this is like a message to clear that up. 
um, before, before proceeding. Kind of like, you know, take it one step at a time here. Passion is here, that's for sure. So, okay, Virgo. Wow. Interesting reading. Let's see. The final message for Virgo, if this resonated. And we have the new moon. A new start is coming. Yeah, it does kind of feel like that. Especially with that Ace of Wands. All right, Virgo, those are your messages. Thank you so much for watching. Much love.